Get ready to read this week. Michael Vey is back and ready to continue his story for the ninth time. Richard Paul Evans joining me in studio to talk about his newest book in the sponsored interview. Hello. Hi. We're, we're fanning right now. Okay. My son loves your series. And why did we decide that there's a ninth book out? There's more to tell. Well, it was during COVID. I realized how much I miss these kids. And of course, around the world, it's an international bestseller. So the kids are writing, give me ideas, kind of plot ideas to keep it going. And they're begging, it's like, please, more books. Okay, the ninth book, what is it about? Do we have to read all of the yes. books? You do. You do, it's just like, yeah, you don't want, it's kind of like Harry Potter, you don't want to start like book seven, right? It's like, so you, but it's a great read. I mean, it's, if you, if, if someone has a, a, a child or a, you know, a grandchild who doesn't read or like to read, you know, Michael Vay gets them to read. It truly is. I mean, it just draws you in mm. like nothing else. My son is a huge, huge fan. What has surprised you about this series and the Michael Vay story? I, I think what surprised me is how it's in, impacting children. You know, I had, um, there's a lot of children who have anxiety and one, one wrote and she, she had just stopped going to school. The mother wrote, so my kids stopped going to school. As soon as I'd go to work, she'd just come home and she was being bullied at school and one day she gets up after like a month of this and her child's all ready to go to school. She goes, what's going on? She goes, I'm going to school, mom. It's like, well, yeah, but you don't do that. And she goes, if Michael Vay can face the Elgin, I can face my bullies. And I thought, how cool is that? Richard, what, had you any idea that the impact you would have on kids? No, no, this is, this is one of the books that was rejected. Um, no one wanted to publish it at first. It was actually Glenn Beck, the radio show host, who believed in it. And so he's, he's the one who reached out and said, yeah, I want to publish your book. So, but before that, um, no one wanted it. But my books that are rejected do the best. Christmas box sold eight million copies. This is more than three and a half million copies right now. So it's doing well. Richard, you're doing something right. Yeah, something. You, you know the formula and you know that you just keep going. And that's what's well, so important. Well, the books are fun. And the thing is because I was a reluctant reader. I have Tourette syndrome and ADHD. And so I didn't really start reading chapter books till middle school. So I was way behind with books. And um, I soon realized that books can't be boring. If they're boring, I can't read it. And so my books move really fast. They're exciting and it keeps my attention. It definitely has mm -hmm. an impact. In fact, I took my son <laughs> to school today it. and you gave him a signed copy just yeah. now. And you want to talk to him? Yeah, come on. Come on, Graham. Come on, Graham. Um, I will say last year when you came out with Michael Vay number eight, uh, I gave it to my son and he was enthralled. He said, no, I'm not gonna read number eight until I read one through seven. Awesome. And then he just kept reading and reading. And what do you think, Graham? The book is awesome. <laughs> Why is it awesome? I don't know, they're like really fun and exciting. Do you have a favorite character? Mm, I forget, but it's Michael's friend. Austin? You know, the thing about Austin, he's the only one that doesn't have superpowers, but he's really smart. And so I have kids write, it's like, well, I could be Austin. And so it's kind of making nerdy cool. That's good. Nerdy cool. <laughs> and then I think it's just different fans. I don't know, identify with different characters. Do you see that? Oh, absolutely. In fact, the big thing about number nine is is Jack a traitor. Mike's, Michael's friend, Jack, uh, said he's joined the other side. And so uh, all around the world, people are saying, is Jack, is he really a traitor? Did he really move? And the kids have hypotheses, it's great. Okay, so Graham is so excited, like he is beyond. When you get to meet your fans, what happens to you? Like, does it touch your heart? Does it like make you keep going and motivate you? Oh, I love it, I love it. In fact, we have a car, you might see it around Salt Lake. It's a Michael Vay car, it's very cool. But every time I park it in the parking lot, when I come out, there's crowds of people, or crowds of teenagers around it taking pictures. And so this book, what's the adventure without spoiling it? Well, it takes place in Peru. They're back in Peru and Michael is going to save uh, Tara. That's his, his girlfriend's Taylor and he's trying to save Tara who's being held by the Chasky. And so it's a very, it, a lot, he's in a cave in the picture of the book. He's actually in a cave. They go in to find her. Um, I had to go to the Amazon jungle to write it. And um, I don't like going, I don't like going there. I've been there three, four times. But it motivates you. Yeah, but like there's things there. It's like, okay, we need an airstrip. And the guy's like, well, there's some drug runners. It's one of the cartels that have an airstrip. I go, can we go see it? He goes, 
that's a very stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go anyway. But, but let's go, yeah. <laughs> but thank you for the signed book. And Graham, are you going to be reading this tonight? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Awesome. Richard Paul Evans, thank you so much. Where can we get this book? You know, it comes out tomorrow. So tomorrow, tomorrow it will be, you can order online, it will be everywhere. And then tomorrow night I have a signing in Layton. And then I'm actually around the state. I'm going to Southern Utah and I'm going to Logan. So just go to my website, richardpaulevans.com, and look for events. And you might see that race car. We are bringing the car to okay. the other place, yeah. Thanks again yeah. to Richard Paul Evans for sponsoring this interview. Thank you again. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Graham. Graham. You're welcome. <laughs> Still